shots. A minute and a half left in the second round. And it's Campbell steadfastly attacking the lead leg. And doesn't, well, there's a right uppercut that drops Corrales. A right uppercut on the inside. And now Campbell going to full mount, wanting to put the finishing touches on this barrage on OK Corrales. That was a big shot that Johnny Campbell landed. Hammer fist now has Corrales back. Getting his hooks in, John. And now it's Cor Campbell looking for potentially his eighth submission win. Again, like I said, when you're seeing a fighter have both of his hands. And there it is, you got Johnny Cupcakes Campbell wins his Bellator MMA debut in scintillating fashion. Oh, he's got reason to go. That was a big win. That nice uppercut right there. That's what started the downfall. I mean, we talked about you don't put your hands down, but when you are a hurt fighter, you make mistakes. Henry Corrales made the mistake having both hands down on the mat. You see Johnny get that rear naked choke, yep. palm to palm, yep. a lot of power on it, he gets the tap out. Madrid's biggest strength is his BJJ. He feels his biggest weakness is his power. And takedown defense, oh. and he could not take the power of Evelyn there as Madrid goes down, and Madrid's in trouble. Madrid is finished. Johnny Evelyn improving to 8-0, 4-0 in Bellator. Again, watch the switch step. The right hand comes, it gets blocked, but the left hand, comes through and touches that side of the jaw. That's what puts Daniel Madrid in the position where he is trying to defend the hammer fist, seal the deal. So Awad, fighting like his Bellator MMA career, is on the line, John. A strong start for the veteran here in round one, and thus far a rude awakening in the debut in Bellator for Nate Andrews, who's now coming back with strikes of his own. Good counter right hand by Awad, another right cross lands, and again, very impressed with the way Awad is fighting. Oh, he just took a big shot. Big left hand from Andrews. Right hand, what a fight! But Andrews is overextending here. Andrews goes down again to his back. Now's when you can go down on the ground. Fist by Awad. Andrews needs to get himself centered on here and start to control the wrist. And right now, Awad is very good at being the hammer. And being smart about making Andrews get back to his feet. Oh, straight right hand down goes Andrews yet again. I don't want to see this. Too. And Sayana Wad wins in style. A huge sigh of relief for the 37-year-old Syed the Assassin Awad. Got a restart, big right hand. Andrews ate a lot of power shots and they just started adding up to the point where he wasn't able to stop what Awad was bringing. Awad being the guy looking, saying he's not able to fight. Referee looks, goes, you know what, you're right. So another left, McCord active on the bottom, but eating these shots. Yeah, McCord is not reacting the way you, you want to see. Right now, she's starting to cover in this position. You can't cover, start to move your body. Make it to where she cannot hit you based upon your body position. McCord was stopped in her professional debut due to strikes, has won four in a row since. Oh, beautiful up kick by Lee McCord, that landed. And of course, now the up kick leading into a potential triangle choke here by McCord. Of course, we remember our current middleweight champion, Gegard Mousasi, with his up kick on Jacare in Japan, but McCord here with midway through the second has Harding in trouble. Yeah, but right now, she just locked up the, that triangle. It's not quite tight right now as far as there is space, but we'll see if Janae Harding, Harding has enough to be able to stay with it. In trouble, there's the tap, and just like that, Leah McCord comes back to submit Janae Harding. Leah McCord pulls out the dramatic submission win, moving to a perfect 4-0 in Bellator MMA. But watch this. Boom. That shot right there, that hurt Janae Harding. And you see right away, watch that foot coming up. You can see how hard it hit Janae Harding. That was a big shot at the downfall. And when you see her now pull her over, now it's getting tight. She's going towards the head. Gets the tap. Beautiful submission. Come from behind win for Liam McCord. This is where when you're in a cage and you have the fence, it can alter what you're able to do. You know what to do, but the actual surroundings are keeping you from being able to accomplish it. Now he's got enough space that he can make that arm, arm triangle choke work. 
The real question is how did he squeeze hard on the first attempt or are his arms actually feeling good? Just past the midpoint of the final round. Patchy yeah, Mix putting tight. the squeeze here on the arm triangle attempt. Yeah. And there is a tap and Patchy Mix bounces yeah, back easy, easy. in impressive fashion as he improves to 14 and one, picking up his 10th submission first via arm triangle choke. He's setting up this arm triangle choke, gets the pressure in the right spot. You see that body lean towards the head and shoulder. He's driving Albert Morales' own arm into his neck on one side. Very tight, nothing that Albert Morales can do. Um, you know, I want the title, you know, anybody in that main event, uh, of course, but I still think I need some work. Uh, I came to show up. I think James Gallagher's here. He didn't, he didn't step in this cage with me tonight, so I'm ready for July. You know, Jimmy, you said you signed the contract, so let's get it signed this weekend. James Gallagher in July, you'd be up for it. James Gallagher in July, unless he keeps running. Except for what the Graces always said, I was, I was born on the mat. Guess what? So was Aviv Bazaar. And he's a new generation of ground game changing levels looking for the takedown against the fence, though, running out of real estate. And in fact, Felton now falls into top position on Gozali. And well, Gozali was, very comfortable from his back. That was Gozali actually jumping. He's looking for that heel hook right now. He's got a lot of pressure on that leg. And there it is. Six professional fights, six submission wins, another lightning quick victory for Abib Gozali. Here Gozali actually pulls guard. That is not felt to taking him down. Gozali is deciding, I I'm gonna get this to the ground and I'm gonna lock up this leg. He knows exactly what he's going to. Look at the leg entwining over that left leg. Now he's got the leg in the position. Now he starts to put pressure on that heel hook. There's a lot of torque on that ligament in the outside of the knee. It's getting just twisted around. A lot of pressure once he extends right here. That's huge pressure on that for that opening. Oh, and beautiful lead left hook behind the guard. What a sweet strike by Tavion Franklin. And they're winding up, knocking King down. And King gets crowned in round number one by all day, Tavion Franklin. Take a look at the power here with the big right hands. Just missed. Left hand, right hand off the top of the head. That's what puts him down. Just snaps his head back. Watch this right hand land, bing, right there off the top of the head. That puts Tyler King down. Good stop by Dan Mirgulata. That fight is over. Grant Neal getting that hook in the inside. Grant Neal has a rear naked choke win in his last fight. He began his career with a rear naked choke victory, looking for his third RNC. Right now he's using a cross face against him. That's not comfortable. It's a painful position, but you see Tyree just holding the hands, keeping the pressure off of his neck. <laughs> and he's starting to have problems. Stop, stop, and that's stop, it. Stop, there you stop. go. Grant Neal is now 6-0. And, oh, and he records his third submission win all via rear naked choke. But drops levels, gets in to Tyree Fortune, is able to take him to the ground and right in the side control. That was a big move to stay in that side control. And then when you see Tyree trying to get up out of the position, all of a sudden, Grant Neal uses that to slide again behind his back and now has his arm around the neck. Put a lot of pressure on that with just one arm. Twisted his face around for a little bit and then gets that arm under the chin. See that hand come up, and when you see that hand come up, you know it's not long. You're tired, your hands are heavy. Oh, it doesn't take, you know, the, the timing is there. It seems like you're gonna block it, and it just gets through. And Novice Corner calling for the liver shot, that left hand. Oh, there's a left hand kick. And now mixing it up, delivering some punches, another body kick, and Christina Katsiki's trying desperately to stave off the barrage from Inaba. She's not fighting. She's and on cue, John McCarthy, referee Todd Anderson stops the fight. Sumiko Inaba, Lady Samurai, delivers in her second professional fight. Being in the gym, punching on a bag, just continuing to just throw your strikes. Nothing was coming her way. It was easy for her to just step to the side. Big kick to the body. Kasika's not even bringing her head up and looking. She's just tired, worn down from all of the damage. So he 
Arena Nava with a big, big win.